Afternoon everybody. Right here we go folks, we've got the SP7 connected to the winch from the uh, flywheel to the drive there and then this o-ring which appeared from somewhere just about, well almost the right size it's slightly slack but that's not a bad thing should anything go wrong that will be the first thing to give out in traction uh, and thus saving any uh, injuries or uh, breakages because it is quite a powerful winch as long as it will drive it at 400 to 1 you don't get your fingers caught to the two or three gears that are well not easily get actable but uh, you could do uh, the gears are this side which is the operating side so um, should be uh, should that be me if I'm foolish enough to put fingers in there we're fired up, we're oiled up I say fired up, we're getting fired up, we're oiled up um, I've had to use a flexible uh, lighter, a lighter with a flexible hose to get in to there to light it. And I can't really see how high the flame is. Um, so I need to get a little like uh, dental inspection mirror. Uh, but uh, there we are, we'll just wait and see uh, first if she drives it and second if she'll lift a fair way. There you go folks, it needs quite a bit of pressure to go well and to go reasonably fast. is lifting and I'll show you in a minute 10 full boxes of mammoth fuel the solid fuel of course and uh, a rather heavy hook now um, or it was on a Meccano uh, pallet. Um, I'll just get up pressure properly because I was a bit too hasty there. I'm still going. I had the flame a bit low, so it's taking ages to get up steam. But uh, we'll show you the, uh, the pallet. Right, folks, you should see the pallet come into view very shortly. I'm just trying to regulate the pressure because. It's cold in here today because the, the household boiler's gone pop. Very cold. I think it's taking a while because of that. But there you go, you should just see just lifting. We're not blowing up on the safety valve yet, and to be honest, the pressure's a bit low. So, uh, as you can see, it does work, and it works uh, uh, better than I thought. But it's such a pain to see uh, the flame, get the flame right, so I must get a mirror. Uh, but it does work, we just need a bit of playing around. Safety valve's blowing off. Let's try again. There we go. It keeps pulling it at that speed. That's not too bad at all. Ideally, I would have liked a larger pulley at this end to give more pull than speed. But as it's such low gear, we've got away with that. The trouble, well not the trouble, but the, the SP7 is only fitted with is only fitted with the one uh, pulley, which is the one machined into the flywheel. Because you've got the two eccentrics, slip eccentrics both sides for each piston, there's no room for a, an ordinary pulley. So uh, that's your only, uh, uh, I won't say drawback as such, it just takes a little bit more thinking about when you're going to drive something like I had to hire, uh, raise up these pulleys so the belt would clear the base. Um, I suppose, well, slight disadvantage you might think is that you've got a, a strong engine with twin cylinders and a large pulley at this end which means you're losing a little bit of that strong power. Um, Unless you go really high on the uh, 
a really large pulley up there. Anyway, we're blowing off again. I'll, I'll keep turning the gas up until we get it to run nice and then I'll mark it, see what it's doing. So here we go again. First time this one's been used for uh, several months. But it looks like the belts are all about right. Um, Tension wise, I thought that one might be a bit loose. That one definitely feels a bit loose, isn't it? Better too loose than too tight. Unless it's that loose at doing group. <laughs> <laughs> 